the film strip effect. That's what I'm going to teach you in this video. My name is Rico Richardson. I upload weekly videos on DaVinci and Darktable. So if that's something that you're into, please consider subscribing. Now let's get behind DaVinci. And here we have two clips. So I've got a random clip. It's a stock clip of, I think, Broadway Street. And I've got another Western one and I've picked these two because those will match the effects the best. DaVinci Resolve has its own film effects and you can find them by going to the effects library and then click open effects. And then if you scroll down, you will see that it says resolve effects texture. And it's got a couple of options. It's got analog damage. So you can see a preview right here. So that looks like the old VHS film cameras. You've got film damage with those lines, those vertical lines. Then we've got film grain, which is sometimes used after you've unnoised or denoised an image so that it still has some texture left. Then we've got JPEG damage, which you can see some banding in the sky and we've got a texture pop. Now, let me just grab the analog damage, drag it onto the clip and I'm going to take the film damage and I'm going to create it on this Western clip that I've got. And I want to make a transition between these two as well. And that's a very fun thing DaVinci has because it's also got a film roll transition. So let's go to video transitions and let's scroll in the list and let's find the film strip and let's drag it onto the clip. And now let's play the clip and see how that looks. So here we see it looks like this has been shot in 1986 and now we're looking at a Western. It's like the good, the bad and the ugly with the rattlesnake saloon. And that looks absolutely amazing and gives your video a very creative effect. And that's all there is to it. So you don't need to go into Fusion or in the Effects tab and change things around. All you need to do is find them in the list in the Effects Library, drag and drop them onto your footage, and you're done. So let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of it and if you're going to use this effect. And if you want to see more of me, please click that playlist over there. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking that button down there. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, doei!